Up next, we begin a Kirk Douglas double feature with a powerful anti-war film from 1957, directed by Stanley Kubrick. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. Tonight, we have two pictures featuring one of the biggest stars of his era, Kurt Douglas. Up first, Stanley Kubrick's best movie. I say that largely just to start an argument online, although it's true. It's an emotionally draining story, part war picture, part courtroom drama, from Kubrick in 1957, Paths of Glory. The script is based on a novel written by an advertising copywriter, a World War I veteran, Humphrey Cobb. Cobb based his book on a true story about a World War I French officer ordered to attack and move his troops forward, pointlessly, as was the case with so many World War I battles against virtually impenetrable enemy defenses. When the attack fails, the officer's superiors are livid, and three soldiers are chosen, essentially at random, to be court-martialed for cowardice. During the mid-1950s, director Stanley Kubrick and his filmmaking partner, James Harris, acquired the screen rights to Cobb's book and began adapting the story into a screenplay. That's when Kirk Douglas learned of the project. And after reading the script, Douglas not only agreed to star in the movie, he also decided to produce it through his own company, Bryna Productions. Douglas used his star power to get financing from United Artists, and he used a little trickery, too, telling the studio he needed an answer immediately because MGM was anxious to make a deal. MGM wasn't, but the ploy worked. In 2004, TCM programmed a night where four politicians, all sitting U.S. senators, would each program a single movie that meant something to them emotionally. One of those senators was John McCain. The movie he picked, Paths of Glory. And McCain spoke eloquently of this war picture's powerful anti-war message. That conversation will stay with me the rest of my life. From 1957, also with Ralph Meeker and Adolph Manjou, one of the best war movies ever made. This is Kirk Douglas in Paths of Glory. Kirk Douglas not only starred in Paths of Glory, he also co-produced it through his company, Bryna Productions. He and director Stanley Kubrick butted heads throughout production, though, in large part due to Kubrick's constant rewriting of the script without Douglas's knowledge or approval. Each time Douglas found out about it, he forced Kubrick to go back to the last draft Douglas had approved. In an interview many years later, Douglas called Kubrick, and I quote, a bastard. But Douglas also added that while the two had many arguments, he always appreciated Kubrick's talent, and they worked together again three years later on Spartacus from 1960. And they fought again. But with both films, the results speak for themselves, which Douglas was keenly aware of. Up next, Kirk Douglas plays two roles in an adventure set in Australia. 